there, Gemini. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of September 2021. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this uh, we could be talking to a cross watcher, yeah? So make sure to keep that in mind, that the roles can be reversed here. If you're interested in a private reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below. Also, if you'd like some extra content throughout the month, check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box as well. All right, Gemini, let's get into your reading here. I do have a pre-shuffle for you. Um, it seems that you're embarking on a new on a new journey in your life, on a new path, maybe a new passion project. Um, it seems that well, whatever it is you're you're going through right now, Gemini, or whatever it is, whatever it is you are doing, what I feel like I want to say here, whatever it is you're choosing to go after, you're choosing to work on whatever transformation transformation you're choosing to make. It's it's moving you forward, Gemini, and I get this feeling from you have overall energy at, at the bottom of the deck right now. You have the Six of Swords. Um, I, I, what I'm getting for this Gemini is that there is a strong amount of determination. It feels like you're ready to move. Okay. It feels whether, okay, maybe you're actually physically moving, you know, moving homes or something like that, but there is action here. Now, the only thing that I can't figure out and maybe, and maybe this is just an element of the fact that this is like a big old general reading, right? So some of you could still be working. Others of you could have been working on this for a while. Or maybe it's a combination of both. But let me explain what you have here. You have the Fool with the Lovers. Okay, so there you are, Gemini. You're showing up here. You have the Eight of Pentacles and you have the Hanged Man. Now, here's where this gets a little bit confusing or at least maybe where the lines are blurred a little bit or where things you may be finding a difference between uh, um, in, you know, expressions for each person that this resonates with. But I, I, I'm i not really sure I can tell if this is hard to explain. Why am I having such trouble putting this into words? Um, you've been working on something. It's this eight of pentacles that I'm call, that I'm calling into question here. And I can't tell if. This is an expression of you have been working on this up until now diligently, like you've been doing some serious internal work with this Eight of Pentacles, or if it's that you've made a decision, you're choosing to go in a different direction, or you're choosing to take a leap forward, okay? Um, okay, and the change in perspective has come in the hanged man in a time period of stagnancy, right? In a time feel period of feeling lost, I'm hearing, or feeling stuck or feeling unable to move or not knowing which way to move. With this hanged man energy here, Gemini, it feels like you have been in, an, in a time period of loss or feeling lost, but that has helped you to gain the clarity that you needed to understand what decision to make in terms of where, how to move forward. The lovers with the fool. And it could be this change in perspective that has influenced you to start working very hard or very diligently on something, Eight of Pentacles. So for some of you, maybe it's that you've been doing this work, like you've been working hard, maybe on trying to figure it out and being in this stagnant or this almost, this kind of stuck space of the hanged man gave you the opportunity to work on something, to flesh something out, to figure something out, to go through the planning process is what I heard also. Okay. For others of you, you have this change in perspective that is giving you the green light or the go ahead from like your soul to say, let's start putting some conscious, consistent effort into this now. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, and then you have that with 
the king of wands, Gemini. So it just, it really feels like whatever it is you're moving forward towards, whatever it is you're working on, um, you're ready to go. And it does feel like this moment uh, that re that was representative, represented by the hanged man is what has helped you, helped put you into this position to feel ready, to be ready to go, to feel confident now. It definitely feels like however it is you're moving forward here, you're feeling very confident in yourself or at least you're very driven um, or maybe some of you, <laughs> maybe if it's not, it's not that you're feeling all that confident in yourself, maybe it's that you're just ready to move forward with this regardless as regardless as to what it entails is what i just heard or regardless of what the outcome may be or regardless of uh, regardless as to whatever it is you might face on the path on the journey there is a level of determina determination that's coming through with the king of wands for you gemini that's very strong and very powerful regardless as to how you may feel deep down under the surface about it because for some of you i am picking up that there's still a little bit of apprehension or a little bit of fear and that's just a question of the unknown the what ifs right um but that doesn't seem to be stopping you there's a part of you that really wants to see this through all right gemini cool so let's give this five shuffles here and we'll see what mess other whoops what else we have for you for the month. Look at what just came out again. You have the hanged man and the chariot. Okay. So now, okay, you have the hanged man and the chariot here. So the hanged man came out in your pre shuffle already. And this is just confirming to me that um, whatever stuck or stagnant energy you found yourself in in the past. It's helped you to get into alignment. It helped to give you the perspective that you needed to get into this aligned space, the chariot. And the chariot is reflecting the energies of the, the, the king of wands. So regardless as to what fears may still be within you or what apprehensions or, you know, the, 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 the reality of like the what ifs and whatnot, regardless as to whatever those may be, Gemini, you are still grounded and ready to go ready to do this okay some for some of you this is that energy this what this is feeling to me is like it looks like look i may not be completely like perfectly emotionally ready for this but it's time to just just fucking go it's like that moment when you're at um like that's let's say when i was a kid we used to go to the community pool and they had a diving board and they had the low one, the, the, the regular one that was like right on the surface. And then they had like the, the one that was like, what, 10 feet or something or whatever, however tall, like the really, the high dive, right? That's way more than 10 feet, but the high dive. Um, and, you know, we were kids and we were like, oh yeah, I want to jump off the high dive, this, that, and the third. And then you get up there and you're like, maybe I shouldn't do this. <laughs> But this is, but it's that energy, Gemini, that feels like you're up on the high dive and you're standing there and it's just like, you know what? Fuck it. There is only, at this point, you can either do it or you can either shit or get off the pot, right? You can either jump or climb back down, but it doesn't feel like you're getting, you're about to climb back down. It feels like you're just like, I don't care, regardless as to how I feel about this, we're just going to jump. Okay. Now, for some of you, this does is this is a situation, Gemini, in which because what you have here also, you have the devil and then you have the ten of wands, but the ten of wands is in reverse. Um, so whatever this is for you, it feels like this is going to be taking you away from some sort of energies of codependency or maybe even some sort of burden. Okay, the devil is here, the devil is upright, but the 10 of wands is in reverse. So that's to me is saying that whatever burdens or strife the devil represents, those are being released. And what I'm also getting from the devil being upright is that what part of what's allowing you to release the burdens that the devil is connected to is because of the fact that you see the devil for what it is. So you see the attachment, you see the codependency, you see the toxicity, you see the burdens for what they are. 
devilish in nature or whatever, however you want to call it. And then that is what allows you allows you to, to, to move forward with releasing yourself from those burdens, okay? All right, cool. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you, Gemini. Here we go. This is one for my Gemini's sun, moon, and rising. Make sure to check for sun, moon, and rising, guys, yeah, for your complete picture of what could be going on for you this turn, this during this time period. This is two. This is uh, three. For my Gemini's sun, moon, and rising, this is four. And this is five. All right, Gemini. So let's get into this. I'm going to cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Gemini. We've got the eight of swords. But I feel like this was a path. What I just heard is this is a past circumstance, Gemini. Okay. This is where you found yourself before. This was that past energy that basically the hanged man represents now. So you were in a stuck and stagnant state. There was something that was holding you back. There was something that was keeping you too firmly locked to the ground. Um, but ultimately this time of being stuck or feeling like you've been in some sort of mental prison or some sort of blockage or whatnot has helped you to gain a sense of clarity or a sense of change in perspective that is now ultimately going to help you be able to get out of that. Okay. Underneath the eight of swords is the magician. Under the, under the Magician is the Eight of Pentacles. And then underneath the Eight of Pentacles is the Ten of Swords. Yes. So you literally, Gemini, you went from being in this mental prison, being feeling confined, feeling burdened, feeling bogged down, feeling like you couldn't move, feeling like you couldn't do anything. You went from being in this state to being in this state, the Magician, free, able to manifest anything that it is that you want. Okay. It seems counterproductive or it seems counterintuitive, Gemini, but this Eight of Swords energy literally was the catalyst to get you into a place of understanding what it is you want or need to create for yourself at this time, okay? And thus, from there, you go to the Eight of Pentacles, all right? So you literally go from being stuck and stagnant or being in this place of being immovable, can't move can't create anything, can't show yourself as these are things that I'm hearing, can't, can't, you just can't because you're all tied up to being free and open to the magician and the eight of pentacles to working on something, crafting something, building something, creating something, manifesting something. And thus that's bringing an end. Either it, yeah, whoa, whoa. It is. Gemini, it's bringing an end to that energy of being stuck or caught up and it's also bringing a massive end, a big overarching a overarching end or a closing of a cycle for you. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Swords. So that's literally representing the um, difficult position you may have found yourself in while feeling stuck, while being in this Eight of Swords energy. So this is coming to a close. But not only is this coming to a close, but a big overarching cycle is coming to a close for you. The world to justice. Uh, in terms of the fears. So you have the nine of swords there, but it's underneath justice. And so whatever it is you've been afraid of, whatever it is you've been fearing, whatever circumstance has been going on for you that has, that had you out of alignment or had you out of whack, that's coming to a close. And there's justice coming, being served in your life now. The balancing of the scales and whatnot. Okay, Gemini. Let's move forward. Hold on. Okay, Gemini, let's move forward. First half, second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to look at the past energy up until the current moment. Second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, in the first half of your reading, you have judgment. There you go. Call, answering the call. See, this is that energy that, that calls you to the ending that comes from, or the completion that comes from the world afterwards, okay? Okay, so in the past up until now, you were feeling this call, but it's called a judgment. But what I'm feeling here for you, Gemini, is that you didn't recognize it or you didn't see it for what it was in that moment. So 
this judgment energy is what kind of led you to that this eight of swords energy this stuck and stagnant place what I'm feeling here is that there was some sort of energetic vibration or energetic resonance that you may not necessarily have been, had been aware of at the time, which also helped you to feel stuck or stagnant because you didn't necessarily know what was hitting you at the moment. All you knew was that I can't move or there's something that I can't do or like my mind, I can't make up a decision or I, something something is holding me back, but I don't necessarily know what it is because I don't necessarily know what's going on. This energy feels foreign to me. That's what I'm feeling picking up for you here. But in reality, it's that energy that kind of stopped you in your tracks and kept you like stuck in one moment for a, an extended amount of time or for a short amount of period for some of you um for a short period that caused you to go through the transformation or go through the energy that helped you have the realization of either what it is you want to be doing or how it is you want to be moving forward that is this judgment energy okay judgment is coupled with the emperor this was leading you to make a decision, Gemini. This was leading you to get to a place where you're like, okay, what is it that I need to do to put yourself in the driver's seat? The uh, judgment with the emperor. Making an executive decision for yourself or for your life. Um, for others, for some of you here, this, this eight of swords period also helped you realize where you needed to put more boundaries in place what it is you needed to work on. There's something about protecting yourself more or maybe either physically protecting yourself or protecting your energy somehow. Or maybe even for some of you, there's also this energy of protecting what it is you're working for or working towards. Now, for some of you, this also is rep or is translating into you figuring out what it is you ultimately want to be working towards. on a deeper level, on a grander scale is what I'm hearing. And making a decision, not just, not only making a decision towards that Gemini, but also like leading the way, being a powerhouse in your own life, like taking it on, taking on the responsibility or taking on the burden for lack of a better term, I'm not, not that you're being really burdened by this, but taking on the responsibility of whatever it is you need to do next, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, in the second half of your reading, you have the Knight of Wands. Okay, moving forward passionately now, having a sense of drive, feeling like you have a sense of drive, feeling like you are, you have a direction to move in, you're feeling passionate about it, you're feeling inspired even. The Knight of Wands is coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. So this is all put you in alignment with getting what it is that you want moving forward, achieving and receiving. Your challenge here, Gemini, in the first half of your reading. Aha, the lovers. Okay. See, but the, the you're showing up again. Uh, but the lovers here is representing the challenge was representing making a choice of what's best for you. And thus, this is where the emperor comes into play, okay? Because the emperor is that energy of being the master of your own domain, being the master of your own life, being the CEO of your own life. And you had to make this decision on your own, okay? No one else could have really worked on you, worked with this on you, worked with you on this, because ultimately this was a decision that you needed to make for yourself. And you, this was a decision that needed to come a decision that need, needed to be made in terms of what is what is in greatest alignment with you, Gemini. What is your soul, your higher self saying to you? What is within your best interest? What is within your greatest alignment? What is best for you and your life at this time? That's the challenge of the lovers. Even though this, yes, is your energy to represent you, Gemini, this is also in the grand scheme of things. When you take that out of it, when you zoom out of that point of view, the lovers is ultimately a choice of vice or virtue. And whatever the virtue or vice would be for you, that is what, you know, that's what you were weighing up to make this decision. The lovers is coupled with 
the King of Pentacles. So this is a choice that came through. This is a choice that came through from a place of you being solid in who you are. I'm, what I'm getting from the King of Pentacles is just an energy of like, I know myself. Or I know what it is that I want. And I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go forward towards. So that's what I'm going to do. For some of okay, I'm looking at the King of Pentacles, Gemini, and I'm hearing solid and stable and sturdy within who you are. Okay. Okay. That's good. So then your closing message or potential outcome, Gemini, here is the Page of Wands. There you go. So that, that gets you to the point where you are ready to start moving with this new creative project. And what I'm getting with the Page of Wands here for you, Gemini, is um, being able or willing and or ready to speak on this, to let the cat out of the bag, to move forward, to get started on the steps. But 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 what I'm getting, what I'm really getting the most from the page of wands here for you, Gemini, is being well, being willing to open up about it and express yourself through this, or tell people about this, or start talking about this, or just bring it out into the world. Allow it to be seen, allow it to be shown, allow it to be known. Okay. Page of Wands is coupled with the King of Swords. So this is, uh, so, so, okay. So this is definitely that moment where you're like ready to go. You're ready to move on it. You're ready to speak on it. I don't know why I keep wanting to say that or why I keep healing that. But that's the thing I feel the strongest, Gemini, is you're ready to speak on this. You're ready to let it be known to the universe, not necessarily to the universe because the universe already knows, but like when I say let it known, be known to the universe, express it so that those, that which is external to you can become aware of it. Whether you're spreading the word to, to generate some interests or whatnot, or whether you're just letting the cat out of the bag, just moving forward with it in an open way. But this is coming through as the, but what the King of Swords is saying here is that you made the decision. What I'm feeling here, Gemini, is you've gone through the process of understanding what it is this is or what it is you need here. And you're, and now you're ready to move forward with it. Now you're ready to express it. Now you're ready to speak on it. Okay. Cool. Let's get into the second half of your reading then. So the second half is going to look at the, the current energy off into the future. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. In the second half of your reading, you have the Page of Cups. Expression. New emotional reality. Okay, yeah, the, now all of a sudden this is turning into a love situation, Gemini. <laughs> so all this time, we could have been talking about love here. So you may have, you. so Gemini, you may have an individual or a potential mate or a potential partner that you were interested in in the past, but this Eight of Swords energy is telling me that you were not feeling like you could move forward with it. And this whole time, okay, yeah, this whole time, so what we could have been talking about in the previous energy for you, Gemini, was you trying to figure out if you actually wanted to express yourself through this energy or you actually wanted to communicate or, 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 or take this situation relationship to another level because i mean I'm, I'm looking at the page of cups here as the first card in the second half of your reading and i, I just get a love vibe from this i get a, a feeling of wanting to express your emotions towards somebody or wanting to express your feelings towards somebody and this all of this could lead up to could have been leading up to you expressing this way 
Page of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. So I'm getting an energy, Gemini, of you deciding that you want to move forward with this or express yourself this way because there's a change in perspective for you, like we saw in the Hanged Man in the beginning of the reading, okay? There's a change in perspective. And what I'm feeling here, Gemini, is that you basically got to the point where you were saying to yourself, all right, look, either I could do things the same way that I've been doing it over and over again, or I can change my, change my approach. Like literally, Gemini, it got like, this literally feels like someone saying here, all right, well, look, if this is really what I want, then I'm not going to get it by staying closed off. So I might as well speak up, own up, or like make some sort of gesture if this is really what I want, if this is what I want to move forward with. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, in the second half of your reading is the Nine of Wands. Now I'm getting apprehension here. I'm getting a little bit of a, a fear too. Because as you're moving forward with this relationship, Gemini, there are still some, there are still some energies that you're just like, mm, I don't know about this. This could potentially hurt me. So I do feel like you're persevering here and there's a small twinge of reluctance. It's, I, it, it's, it's so small and yet it's still there. So I didn't want to overlook it. Okay, Gemini. I mean, it's still there. It's within your conscious awareness. There is a small twinge of reluctance. But there's also an understanding of if this is what you want, Gemini, then you have to move forward. You have to take the steps to own up to it and to build it. Whether this is a romantic relationship or this is just some new creative project for you. So what I'm getting here with the Nine of Wands is the reason why there's this reluctance, Gemini, is because you're like, part of you is just like, I just don't want to get hurt again. And maybe this Eight of Swords energy is a past energy of you having put yourself in a cage, we'll say, saying, you know what? It's too dangerous out there. It's, it's like, it's deadly out in these streets when it comes to love. I'm not trying to open myself up to that. But you put yourself in that prison saying to yourself, I can't do this, or I shouldn't do this, I should not step out of these boundaries, or I'm just going to, it's, I'm just bound to get hurt. And then somebody came into your life that completely changed the game, and now you're willing, yet reluctant, to move forward. So battered and bruised, yes, absolutely. But still moving forward, Gemini, and that's a good thing, okay? The Nine of Wands is coupled with the Ten of Wands, that's crazy. That's crazy, Gemini. But what I think you're realizing here is that you have got to let go of this baggage. I think the more you move forward with this in this specific way, Gemini, the more you start to realize that you're carrying this baggage that is not going to serve you at all any longer. So I do feel like there could be some relief from that baggage coming for you. The more you move forward carrying this baggage, the more you realize I shouldn't be carrying this load at all. Because it's not going to help me. It's not going to get me anywhere. It's either going to hinder my process or it's only going to take me longer to get there because I'm carrying all this dead weight. Your challenge here, Gemini, in the second half of your reading is the Seven of Swords, Deception. Um, the first thing I want to say, Gemini, though, is that you're deceiving yourself. So the challenge here, are, I believe, I'm feeling like our self-deceptive tendencies. And it could very well be connected to this, the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Thinking that you're feeling like you need to carry these burdens or this baggage when I feel like you're deceiving yourself. I just feel like you're facing the reality of what put you or what caused you to put yourself in this Eight of Swords energy to begin with. 
and that's self-deception. Seven of Swords is coming coupled with the Three of Wands. This is standing in your way, Gemini. These <clears throat> self-deceptive ten tendencies are standing in your way. How do I move forward from here? Well, in order for you to move forward from here, Gemini, you have to recognize where you're being taken advantage of or where you're being stolen from. And yes, that might, in some cases, that might be external to you, but I really feel like most of it is internal. I feel like this is a lot of an internal process right now. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini, in the second half of your reading is the Queen of Wands. Your alignment. Queen of Wands is coupled with temperance. So all of this, um, all of this is leading you towards getting back into a greater alignment with yourself. And I do like this energy for you, Gemini. But what the second half of your reading is talking about is what it is you need to do, the process you need to be going through in order to really get into this alignment with yourself or get into this greater sense of alignment with what it is you truly want. Because underneath temperance was the nine of cups. Okay, so this is getting into alignment with things that are really going to be beneficial for you, that are really going to bring a level of contentment and satisfaction to you on your everyday life. So you, Gemini, are going through a process right now of breaking yourself out of some sort of mental prison or breaking yourself out of some sort of confinement that holds you back. Holds you back from love, holds you back from business opportunities, holds you back creatively, whatever this means for you, okay? And it's helping you to get into your, uh, uh, get into a greater alignment with what it is you actually want. So that you can go ahead and work towards receiving it. Okay. I want to get closing oracle guidance for you. And I am being guided to go with the lover's oracle. Okay. Now this wasn't officially a whole full love reading here. But by the time we got to the second half, I couldn't deny that love was a part of this. And even if we're not talking about a romantic relationship here, Gemini, I, I feel like the lover's oracle is um, is appropriate, not only because the lovers came out for you twice here, okay, but also with you getting in this, with this energy of you getting into alignment with yourself or breaking yourself out of some sort of mental prison, this has to do with loving yourself. Okay, so that's definitely why we're going to go with this deck, whether this is for a love situation for you, actually, or not. And you have two cards here. So I'm going to take these two. First card that came out says, Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Yeah. And then finally, you have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And I really do feel like that could be what's helping you to, if, if this is resonating for you on a love level, I really think that's what's opening you up to be able to, I'm hearing expansiveness of the heart, be able to own up to or face some sort of love situation. There really is, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. I mean, I personally believe that there really is no such thing as right or wrong anyway. In the grand scheme of things, it's really just about experience and what you learn from the experience. Um, but when it comes to the heart, that's very much so. There really is no right or wrong. Everybody has their own thing. And if it works for you on a heart level, on a, especially if we're talking about love, if it works for you and your partner, then who is, who is anyone else to tell you that you guys are wrong? You know, like do what works for you. It's your relationship, not theirs, right? So they really shouldn't be able to tell, no one really should be able to tell you what you should or should not do in your relationship. As long as both of you are on the same page and you're on an in, agree in agreement. You know what I mean? 
But I really feel like if for those of you that are representing or resonating with this on a love level, I really feel like that is actually what's starting to open you up to the potential of a new relationship. Okay. I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>